Last year in the Rose Bowl, we faced Iowa, and let's talk about Will Stevens, one of the best running backs in the nation. He ran all over us in the first half. Here he is getting a screen pass and just taking it to the house as Iowa took the 21-point lead in the first half. But in the second half, we begin our comeback. Jay Taylor on the screen pass. He gets to the outside and gets a big gain of 20. Jennings pitches out to him inside the red zone. He gets in for the two-yard touchdown run. He gets it to within one. We get the ball back at the end of the third third quarter and we get it to the fourth and Matt Pollard makes a big play to the outside. A gain of 25, then a quick throw out to Denzel Knox. Gets us into the driver's seat in this game, but not just yet. Iowa comes back, Will Stevens, a handoff to the right side. That's a touchdown on a five yard carry. Now about 35 yards out, he gets another carry and he breaks it away and they take the seven point lead. So then we have to answer back in the fourth quarter, two minute drill, Jamal Taylor, he's getting a first down on that one. Now inside of a minute, here is Jay Taylor getting into the end zone and he takes this one into overtime. Then in overtime, Iowa couldn't do anything on their first possession. They have to end up settling for a field goal, but we know all we have to do is score a touchdown. So that's what we do. We give it to our hogs, Denzel Knox and Jay Taylor. Knox gets the carry inside the five yard line. He tries to fight in, but on the next play, he fights in and just shows his tenacity. Look at that effort. And he brings home the Rose Bowl to SJSU. And here we are again for the second straight year playing Iowa in the Rose Bowl. What's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ. And we're here in the Rose Bowl again. And we have the most All-Americans here in season five in the country led by Denzel Knox, Terrence Miller, and Andre Armstead, the pillars of this team. As you can see, Andre Armstead had eight sacks. Terrence Miller had double digit sacks. And also Michael Cummings makes the All-American team as well. And then one more, James Will Smith, who is one of the best players I've seen as far as that leap from freshman to senior year. I mean, just a phenomenal leap that he's taken and he is an All-American for a reason. But Iowa does have three All-Americans, starting with their tight end. They always seem to breed tight ends. Then their defensive tackle, Noah Shannon, and then their punter, Jason Holland. And those are all second teamers. They had one first teamer who was an offensive guard, but that nonetheless, they have just a bevy of offensive talent, tight end, running back, receiver, wherever, led by Spencer Petras. He's a senior, he's an accurate passer, and man, he is tough to stop on offense, but the toughest guy on their offense to stop is Will Stevens and Henry Gill, who actually is one of the most underrated backup running backs in the nation. He has about 600 to 800 yards each season so far, and he is just doing a great job backing up a great running back in Will Stevens. So here we are starting out this Rose Bowl. Can we repeat as Rose Bowl champions? Here is Jennings on the first pass, throwing out to the right side. He's got Carl Wolf down the sideline for 24 yards, but I'm not sure that was intended for Carl Wolf. That looked like an overthrow that time to Raheem Makusi in the slot, but nonetheless, it's a first down. So now here on a first and 10, here's a counterplay to the left side, and that's Denzel Knox, who's getting a gain of nine. And now we move the ball past the 50. Another handoff up the middle. Denzel Knox has got a wide open hole. That's a gain of eight. And that's another first down here on this first drive. So Jennings scrambling out to the right. He's got a lot of open field, but he's going to stop and throw this ball. He's got Raheem Makusi inside the five-yard line for a gain of 33. And the junior receiver picks up a big gain as Denzel Knox gets the next carry. He's fighting forward for a four yard touchdown run. I don't know how he got in on that one, but we take the 7-0 lead. We're not playing any games right away. So now here comes that man, Will Stevens, out onto the field, first carry, and that's a gain of six as he breaks a tackle, moves it to a manageable second and four. Here is Petras. He's gonna keep it this time. He's getting up the middle. He fights off the first tackle and gets tackled by Terrence Miller who is playing in his final game as a Spartan. 
So first and 10, read option to the right side. This time it's Petrus again. He breaks the tackle and gets to the outside and he breaks another one. And he's breaking off a big gain of 34. Who saw this coming? We thought that Will Stevens was gonna be a problem, but so far Petrus is the problem. But on his first pass, he throws out to the left side and that probably should have been picked off, knocked down by Mike Daniels. That's actually Marcus Daniels. Here's a pass across the middle, Lonnie Morris. He picks up a gain of 11, who is their leading receiver on the season as Petras tries to keep it once again, running the ball. Somehow jumps over a defender on the ground and breaks a tackle, and that's a gain of five. So second and five, here's a handoff. Will Stevens, he's got a gain of seven, as now they're just showing every element of their offense so far on this drive. Here's Henry Gill, he's breaking a tackle. He's getting in, that's a four yard touchdown run up the middle, and they take advantage of that poor defense on that drive and tie this game up at seven. So on the next drive, here's Sammy Baldwin. He's getting involved early on. I want to get him involved early because he does have the playmaking ability that not all of our receivers have. But on the next play, Jay Taylor just gets flattened by Jaden McDonald coming around the outside. And that makes it a third and five as they send the pressure and Drayvon Jennings goes down. And look who it is, it's John Wagner, their best defensive player, and he forces the punt on that drive. So here's Will Stevens, starting out the next drive with the carry up the middle. He's getting a gain of 10, and he's got an early 24 yards on just three carries so far. So here's a throw to the right side. Petrus is gonna find Hale on the outside, and Clifton Hale gets a gain of 16. At one point, we were actually recruiting Clifton Hale, and now look at him, he's their best receiver on their squad. So now on the first and 10, here's a throw across the middle, but it's picked off by Marcus Daniels. And he's gonna take that one back to the 32 yard line. I'm not sure what Petra saw on that play, but he lobbed it. He thought he could get it over the top of Daniels. Daniels isn't great in coverage, but he's just good enough. And he comes up with the interception. So now here's Jennings on the next drive. Here's a quick throw to the right side. He's got Carl Wolf who gets tackled by the face mask so we get helped out by that penalty, so we now move this ball past the 40-yard line. So now second and 12, they're sending the pressure. There's Sammy Baldwin, who breaks a tackle and moves to the open field and finally is taken down for a gain of 25. That's what I'm talking about. That playmaking ability, ability of Sammy Baldwin is something that we don't have by anybody else. So now on the third and five, we try to scramble out to the right side, but Jennings does get stopped. And we do settle for the field goal. And we make this one a 10 to seven game. So here comes Iowa back out onto the field, down three points. Petrus coming off of that interception from the shotgun. He's gonna throw to the right side. He's got a man. That's gonna be Wilcox on the sideline for a gain of 15. And that is actually a nice throw and it moves the chains. So here is Morris getting involved on the offensive side of the ball. Lonnie Morris for 12 yards, the All-American, the second team All-American, and he picks up a big first down. So here is Morris again. He gets going on the right side of the field. They're moving him around quite a bit. As you can just see, this is why he is a second team All-American. But speaking of All-Americans who maybe should have been one, Will Stevens had a 1,400 yard season. I don't know how he didn't make the All-American team, but Somehow he didn't as Henry Gill comes in. He gets hit, that's Luther Bridges on that tackle. And that brings us to a third and 11. Here's Petrus throwing out to the sideline. He's got Patterson this time. He's getting in bounds for a 14 yard gain. And now they're inside the 10, hanging, handing it off to Will Stevens. But this time the All-American James Will Smith there for the tackle in the backfield. So third and goal, Petrus. He's gonna throw out to the right side. He's got Snyder, but he's gonna get tackled before the goal line, and he's gonna have to settle for the field goal here as Iowa does tie this game up at 10 apiece as we have about a minute left here in this first half. Can we put some points on the board? Jennings scrambling out to the right side. He's gonna throw to that side. He's got Raheem Akusi who breaks a tackle but gets tackled down for a gain of 14 as we move to a minute left here in the half. Jennings, throw out to the left side. He's got a man down the sideline. That's Raheem Makusi. That's an accurate throw as Jennings actually starts this game out pretty accurate. I'm pretty surprised so far. Here he is running out to the right side. He's gonna throw that way. He's got Sammy Baldwin. 
three great passes on this drive for Drayvon Jennings, and he's commanding this offense. So here's Jennings, quick throw to the left side. He's got Denzel Knox this time, who actually puts on a move and gets a gain of nine. He turns that one from a gain of about five to a gain of nine. So now we're at 30 seconds left in the first half. Here is Jennings scrambling out to the right. He's gonna throw that way, and he's got Matt Pollard, the senior tight end, touchdown. And wow, what, what a half that Drayvon Jennings just had. 11 for 12, a touchdown. He's looking good. It's 17-10 going into halftime. So here we are to start this second half. Iowa does start out with the ball. Here's a quick screen out to Hale, who picks up a nice gain of eight as he had some good blocking on that one. And now they get it to a second and two in this weird pistol formation as Will Stevens is kind of lined up offset and he picks up a gain of 13. And that's a first down. He's at 55 yards rushing here so far. Here he is getting another carry, another gain of seven. And it seems like this guy never loses yardage on any run. So now on a third and three, a carry up the middle, and that's gonna be stripped by Marcus Daniels and picked up by James Jackson Jr. for the second straight week. We stripped the running back, but take a look. His knee may have been down on that one, and it is. So they do line up to kick this long field goal here. This is about a 58 yarder, and this one is gonna be wide left and way off. And we take back over after the missed field goal, trying to take advantage of this field position. Here's Raheem Makusi across the middle. That's a good start. That's a gain of 17. And he's got 80 yards receiving so far in this game. So here's Denzel Knox, the Heisman Trophy winner. Puts on a move. He gets up the middle for a gain of 12. He's been quiet up to this point, but he does have a touchdown. But that's a first down run on that one. Here's a throw across the middle. Sammy Baldwin, he's getting involved early, and he's getting his yards so far in this game. 68 on four receptions as he weaves his way up for a first down. Here's Champagne Green. He's getting involved now on the whip route to the outside. That's a gain of nine as we move this ball inside the 10. Knox, he's trying to fight his way in. He gets a gain of six. And I, you know what I like to do? I like to reward my guys who fight like that. He gets into the end zone for the touchdown, three yards out. And here we are with the 14 point lead here to start the second half. Here's Henry Gill on the next drive. He gets a gain of eight as they took Will Stevens out for a couple of plays, but he's back in the game. Hand up, up the middle. He's got a big hole to the left side. He's breaking free and he gets pushed out of bounds by Marcus Daniels. And you can't hold him down for long as here he is in the game once again on the load option. Runs over a defender that time. That's Andrew Jordan who can't make the tackle. And we run him down, but that's a gain of nine as that one puts him over the 100-yard mark. So here is Lane, the third string running back in the game. And he gets a gain of two. And now they're going to get it to a third and nine. Can we come up with a stop? Screen pass out to the left side. Will Stevens, he's trying to get some room to the left, but he gets tackled that time by Neil Bonds. And now it's a fourth and six, down by two scores. They're gonna go for this instead of kicking the field goal. Here's Petrus from the shotgun. He's got all day, stepping up in the pocket. He gets rid of it to the right side. It's caught by Morris, but he's not gonna get in. Take another look. Morris catches it, but he does not get the ball past the goal line. And that's gonna be a turnover for Iowa as we take back over at the one yard line. So here is Jennings handing it off to Denzel Knox, giving us a little bit of room on this one. He gets a gain of six as we get it to a second and four try. Dual backs back in the backfield from the shotgun. We're gonna take this one ourselves and run it to the right side. And Jennings will slide for the first down as this clock does continue to move. Knox on the handoff to the right side. Ooh, I thought he was gonna break that tackle and break to the outside but it's a gain of six as he hasn't had a big game on the ground, but he's doing just enough. Here's Sammy Baldwin, who's been involved quite heavily in this one. He's got a big gain of 10. He's got 78 yards receiving in this game. So Jennings on the next play, first and 10. He's gonna throw across the middle. That time to Carl Wolf, who was wide open, and he's actually playing in his last game as a senior. So first and 10, here's Raheem Akusi. He's got another big gain to the left side, and that one puts him over 100 yards, and that is a nice catch and run on that one. And look at Drayvon Jennings, 19 for 21 in this game. He's putting on a show here for the pro scouts. 
So here on a first and 10, throw out to the left side. I'm not sure who that was thrown to, but it's caught by Champagne Green, and that's a gain of 10. So now two and a half minutes left here in the fourth quarter. Jennings throwing out to the middle of the field, and that's Raheem Akusi who gets a touchdown. And that's a great drive put together. 99 yards, Drayvon Jennings drives us, and we take the 21-point lead here in the Rose Bowl. But they still have Will Stevens, but it's two minutes left. I don't know how much time they're going to have in this comeback effort as he gets the only five yards on that screen pass. So third and five, deep shot down the left side. It's almost picked off. Josh Hemphill, who's having himself a great year, he drops an easy pick. And now here they are desperately, fourth and five. Petrus from the shotgun faces immediate pressure, Bruh. but he gets rid of it right away. He gets clobbered on that throw. Wow, how did we get in that quick? But Hale gets wide open, and they pick up the big gain, and they're on the other side of the 50 now. So first and 10, Petrus. He's going to have all day to throw. He's going to throw to the left side. He's going to find Hale, and he gets in for the 21-yard touchdown reception. And now they have one last shot here at an onside kick. Can they recover here? And it's up. And we recover it. And Jay Taylor recovers that one, moves to the middle of the field. And that one is all going to do it if we do get one more first down and we do just that and run this clock down. And here we are, SJSU back-to-back -back Rose Bowl champions. And for the second straight week, we are champions. We won the Pac-12 last week, and here we finish off a great season, a one-loss season. We could have been a perfect season, but what can you do? We go 13-1 and back-to-back -back years and back-to-back -back Pac-12 championships and Rose Bowls as we did our thing in this one. Will Stevens still got his, but not as good as last year. Last year, he was over 200 yards, and we'll see you know, if we do end up facing them once again next year, we'll see. But Petrus won't be their quarterback. But Will Stevens will probably be back unless he declares for the NFL. But the player of the game goes to Drayvon Jennings. Three incompletions. That was near perfection there on one of the biggest stages in front of pro scouts. We'll see if he goes pro this coming year as he goes 23 for 26. 321 yards. In two touchdowns, Denzel Knox runs for 88. Who knows if he'll go pro? He might. He had two touchdowns in this one. Raheem Akusi goes over 100. He gets a touchdown. Sammy Baldwin had a good game. And this was just a great game all around. I could not be happier with the result of this game. And I'm really proud of this team. We went 13-1. and You know, a little bit disappointed that we didn't make the national championship. But that's just how it goes sometimes. And... Oh, well, we'll move on to season six. There will be a season six here with SJSU and probably more seasons beyond that, but not in full user control. I probably won't be controlling them fully, but we'll see. How does the running back lead their team and tackles this game? I don't know how that even happened. But Will Stevens went from 108, and we're heading on into the offseason. Who knows what's going to happen? There could be a bunch of scenarios that happen. Denzel Knox and Drayvon Jennings could both go pro. We're losing a bunch of seniors on defense as well. So we'll see what happens. So going into offseason, we just got to keep our head up, see what we're going to do next year, and compete for this national championship. Hit subscribe, hit that like button. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go.